Good afternoon paint pouring community out there. I hope um, your day is a good one as mine has been. Um, if you've seen my terrible terrible disaster uh, dip that I did yesterday that yes not even a mother would love I have to try and redeem myself just in my own head and try and do it again. As you see I've scraped and washed off the canvas. I think I put on the video that um, I hosed off because I used the garden hose and I had a lot of laughter uh, and comments from Americans because they use the word ho, hose, uh, as a woman in disrepute or something like that. Somebody might explain it, but they use it in a different format to what we do in Australia. This was the first one that I did and that has dried really lovely and shiny. So this was the poster paint that I added my pouring medium at 70-30 mix of the Montmartre craft glue. And it's made it, like it's dried really quite shiny, like it wouldn't even need any coat of gloss. So, so happy and with that, and it's just so vibrant. But I'm gonna try, I have to try again and to do this dip on one canvas to the other again and redeem myself because I really did stuff up on the colors that I use. So I'm going to, going to try and um, do, I, I wanna do something, I'm in similar colors, but, but I'm gonna throw this beautiful bright red in the mix. So I'm really thinking that this could be the lifter in it. So I'll just try again and uh, please bear with me and we'll go again. I'm not sure whether to try and do some negative space, but because that is so beautiful and I've had so many offers to purchase that already, um, I will do kind of what I did with that one. But I'm just thinking, should I do these on the diagonal going down here? Just for something different. Okay, I'm gonna start with the lovely turquoise. As I mentioned on my previous video, this is, oh, my husband turns up, bringing up the, the garbage bin on the back of the car, so that's always noisy. Um, anyway, we'll just, I think you're, if you watch my channel, you're all kind of used to my husband. It just turns up on the times whenever I'm trying to do a movie. So it's just the in thing. So I'll keep going with it. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just trying to mix it up and do it yeah sort of diagonally across the canvas to a fashion so we'll just see how it goes but this is the Montmartre poster paint so it's very economical for beginner pourers and it's very economical to do with children and it's non-toxic so um, it's all good to go but I just mixed with the um, PVA a pouring medium so it's it's become you know pouring paint so I'm and I'm just so pleased with how vibrant the colors have turned out probably more so than some um, acrylic paints you can buy so I'm very happy with how it's turned out so I'm just gonna try and redeem myself from the tragic one that I had yesterday which I did the uh, a dip with negative space but I, I will redo that, revisit that another time. But for now, I'm just going to give this a go. Because I don't like doing videos that it's the same old, same old, like the same pour every time, almost in the same colour. Same old, same I try to, as you know, I try to mix it up for you guys and do lots of experiments, which, as you know, I've been doing the whole time I've done my channel. I always try and experiment with different products, different techniques. Uh, I'll try to make it interesting for everyone and more so for myself because it's what I love to do. So I'm trying to, um, yeah, give you lots of variation in my videos and hopefully keep you engaged with me so we all have a good time together. That's what my hope is for everybody. So as you know, this paint is available in the United States, Montmartre. Um, I now can put a link on the bottom of my video. Uh, the 
United States suppliers of uh, Montmartre and if you're in uh, Canada there's a link there too that I've been now uh, provided with and of course I certainly get my all my supplies off the lovely online um, local business of uh, Capriole Shabby Chic oh that's the same colour I'm trying to put um, which I really I'm a true believer in supporting local business because we are local business owners ourselves and we um, we thrive, we obviously make a living out of people supporting us over the big companies that want you know uh, sometimes wanting to go over the little guys and not make you be able to make a you know run a business and support your family when you just you know you're just trying to give it a go so I am an absolute staunch supporter of local business and I hope you guys are too and absolutely think it's terrible when people try to affect local business by doing uh, crazy things but yep so I'll just give you everything that I try here or that I'm sent to me by anybody whatsoever I give my honest opinion on what I find on my work that you see in front of me I don't tart it up and try and be something that I'm not I just give it you how I think if something's not working too good I will well, as you've seen I'll put the videos up and I still tell you okay so just thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and um, just the lovely comments that I get and the support from basically all of you now I just have a really good group of people that um, go in this art journey with me that that tell me about their own art journeys which are wonderful oh I've gone a bit absolute crazy there hey okay one was the the dark blue I've put dark blue turquoise white and that is the Montmartre gold and they're all the poster paints so 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 do you think I should give it a little tilt I'm going to put something bright to pop it pop it pop it as you know I like to keep keep it I like a bright color popping it so I'm going to put I'm going to put the red because I love red turquoise and golds together so I'm really hoping that this red will create some magic and not what happened to me yesterday when I added a not so nice green for the particular colors that I had with it so I make a boo-boo with my colors I mean I pride myself on that I have just a natural ability with colors and to choose colors above the normal um, but I certainly didn't have that yesterday <laughs> I put um, as you see a really it would it would be a perfect green in a completely different situation but not in the colors that I put so it didn't end up a good one but I thought no I have to show you guys and to I want to keep it real keep it honest and let you know make you feel that you know it's okay to have boo-boos and do mistakes because it's how we learn so I'm trying to learn from my mistakes okay now do I pop in some yellow no I won't I think that red is the popper I'm gonna just do a few black black squirrels I don't want to do I just want to put it in there not too much because obviously the black may take over okay bear with me guys please let me know if you've given this a go yourself and what you um, thought of it and because this is really it is a very easy style for somebody that's maybe beginning their art journey because it's you know you're just merrily going along putting your um, you know putting your paint on there and um, I'm going to oh, just double double trouble checking I've still got my camera going because I don't want to get caught out like that again 
so I'm just going to do what I didn't do with this. I just want to tilt it a little bit over the canvas, just a wee bit, so not too much because I'm trying to keep those chevrony. Not that I've kind of lost them a bit here, but just want to. Tilt slightly, not too much. I'll keep it. Oh, it's difficult. Okay, so here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Just try again. Just keep trying, keep trying. Why do I get this aversion to put a bit of the the yellow in there? Do I? What are you shouting to me? Do I or don't? No, no, no. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to go. I'm just going to do it with this. It's got plenty. Okay, we're on a 40 by 50 centimeter canvas. There's two of them. So this is quite a fair sized canvas to be doing dips. Lots of people that are doing dips on smaller canvases. So it's a fair sized canvas. So it's 16 by 20 inches if you're the inchy people and I'm the centimeter y person. And this is really not going to work because you know why this canvas I've washed it off twice now and it's bowed so I might completely be stuffing myself up because it's bowed and it's lifting itself off so 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 think 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 what can I use to okay this might be a good thing No, I'll just use my hand. See, this is a nice canvas, like it was a good quality um, actual canvas on it, but because I've washed it under my garden hose, washed all the paint off it, and then I left it in the sun to dry. Oh, there you go, there's my gecko. Okay, yes, we're here, we hear you. Um, yeah, it, it's warped. But I haven't put the timber pegs in the back, so I know that I can get it back again to good. It's just that I never did it before I started, so that was me being too eager to get going on this attempt to redeem myself. So bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I never did what I said I was going to do before as well, was put some puppy pee pads under the very bottom one to give it a little bit of something uh, firmer for pressure. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to make a hot mess again. What I'm going to do while I've got the painting like that, there's a lot of runoff and I've showed you my little teeny tiny water balloon, it's just a normal balloon and I filled it with water. But what you can do is dip it in some of the paint that's runoff, dip, and dip your edges so you're coating, going along and you're coating both edges of the canvas with little teeny tiny balloon dips which look very pretty. Um, just move that over slightly so I can get some of that runoff. And just do little balloon dips on your edges and they look really pretty. Um, you, you definitely should probably wipe off in between every couple of dips so as it doesn't start to get muddy looking. But there you go. Done that one. I'll just go around this side. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't want to bore you with my dipping. As you know, I'm a, uh, a balloon lover. There's lots, so many lovely things you can do with a balloon that were basically taught to us from children. First balloon art we probably, all of us ever did was at school or kindergarten as they do it now. I, I'm not sure what they call it in other countries. I think they still call it kindergarten here in Australia. But yeah, and it's still, obviously you can turn your balloon kissing into um, something magical. Okay, I'll go around the front when I have finished this. I will dip it off on a, 
that's it okay now's the scary part the very scary part some gorgeous colors coming through on this so i think this is looking like the color of the american and australian flags but i'm just hoping that it's not one big muddy mess underneath okay guys wish me luck oh okay Look at that developing before the eyes. Look at the little cells coming up because this paint's been made quite a few days now. I've got so much runoff here, which is going to be great for doing my little dips on the edges at the top here. What do you think, guys? Is it a yay or a nay? Have I redeemed myself slightly? I will hold it up in a second to let you guys tell me what you think. I can do this afterwards so you don't have to go through the boring bits with me but the colors I obviously do still prefer the first colors that I did with the purple and yellow and the turquoise but what do you think guys is it a yay or is it a nay be kind because I am trying so experimenting for you that's got a lot of thick paint still left on it so my idea for that would be after it's dried off a little bit just one or two one or two balloon kissing like I did with the other one that I showed you at the beginning I mean that this is way too wet of paint to really make a good impact on that yet but one or two balloon kissing where it looks a bit wayward and wonky like there oh no I'll probably I don't know it's coming good it's coming good I would leave that to dry a bit but yeah so so kind of looks like um I don't know you guys tell me what you think it looks like the colors are I know the red the red and the white and the blue and I've got gold in there so obviously they appeal to a lot of people too so I'll let you guys tell me what you think I will hold it up closer uh, and I will wait till it develops further because these certainly develop and seem to take on a whole little life of their own and develop quite nicely after being left for a little while so I've got this this is quite nice because it's got the ripple effect in it um, and I mean I did put as I showed you on the previous video I put one drop of the uh, Montmartre silicone in this but everything will be in the drop down box or the box that says underneath the video I'm told that it says something like show me more and you click on that and then I will put there how I mix this paint and what I use to mix it so it's it's actually becoming becoming it's, you know it's coming quite nice it is definitely definitely better than that the pig's breakfast that I made yesterday which was a shocker I must admit it turned out really not bad but I think it's these colors that look at this one you know like that is just gorgeous and like I said look at shiny sheeny shiny bright as anything it is stayed so vibrant and so is one that I've posted on my acrylic art by Jilly Cube that I did over a year ago with poster paint. It's still bright and vibrant and it's lovely. Okay, until next time guys, thank you. Let me know what you think. Bye for now.